This is Kelso Sturgeon. Uh, welcome to another session of my College Advanced Sports Handicapping. A lot to talk about today. Uh, I want to say a few words about the Super Bowl. Be one week from Sunday. Uh, plus, uh, let's get into a little detail about college basketball right now and what's happening. Uh, first, I'd like to address the issue of a special Super Bowl package that I put together. It's like nothing I have ever done before and I want to run it down for you. First of all, I am releasing my first ever 400 unit play on the Super Bowl. The biggest play I've ever released in the past was 200 units. Over a five day period, beginning next Wednesday night, January the 30th, here's what's in the Super Bowl package. On Wednesday, January the 30th, releasing my 200 unit college basketball game of the year. On Thursday, January the 21st, releasing my 100-unit college upset game of the year. On Friday, February the 1st, releasing my 100-unit NBA game of the year. On Saturday, another 200-unit college blowout game of the week. And by the way, 10 1-1 one one in these games this season. I'll go into that in a little more detail in just a minute. Then on the Super Bowl, here's exactly what I'm doing. Releasing a 300-unit play on the side, a 50-unit play on the total, and a 50-unit play on the side and total parlay. Plus, as usual, I will uh, have in that same uh, uh, Super Bowl day release uh, five uh, proposition bets uh, that I think uh, uh, we can get the money with. So that's my Super Bowl package. Uh, runs for five days, a thousand units of action. Uh, it will be available in the next day or two on this website or toll free at 1-800-755-2255. It's the bargain of the year, the price is right, all major credit cards accepted. Now let's get into the basketball a little bit. You know, Basketball, for some people, uh, seems to have become a uh, real uh, a thorn in the side, very confusing, uh, frustrating, etc. There's nothing going on in this basketball season that hasn't gone on in every one before. I think that uh, the problem that uh, some people are trying to deal with is uh, just who is the best basketball team in the country or who are the best basketball teams in the country. As I say on a column on this website that you could read right now, and I suggest that you do when you finish this video, there is no number one team in college basketball. We have several good teams, 15 or 20 of them. Any one of them could be number one. It's for certain that uh, come next Monday, when the new poll comes out, we'll have the third uh, number one team in the country over the past three weeks. Uh, two weeks ago it was uh, Louisville, last week it was Duke uh, in that spot now, and then on Monday we'll have another one. Uh, we have a lot of teams that could be ranked second, third, fourth, fifth maybe, but there's just good basketball teams out there. And uh, uh, the fact that there have been so many upsets, and you know, how can anyone explain uh, Duke's loss uh, last night at uh, uh, Miami. One can say, well, you can get beat anywhere, and I can see that point, and Miami is a very good basketball team, also nationally ranked uh, in the 25th spot. But, you know, when a team such as Duke goes into uh, 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 Miami to play, there's no way that it should lose 90-63 uh, to 63 as the number one ranked team in the country. Here's a team that went for eight minutes, the number one ranked team in the country, went for eight minutes without a field goal, was at one point outscored 25 to 1, and when it was all over, suffered the third biggest loss in history of any number one team uh, in the rankings. A miserable performance. Uh, Miami played lights out. Now, I'd like to make an observation here, and you mark it down, and you can uh, maybe use this the next time these two teams, or next time these two teams take the floor against other opponents. Duke absolutely cannot play as badly as it did against Miami two games in a row. Impossible. Uh, Miami cannot play as well as it did against uh, Duke, period. It played a perfect game. Uh, there's no way in the world it can play better. So what we have here, you can look at these teams in the future. You know, sometimes you don't like to lose a game, 
And by the way, I did lose with Duke last night. It was the only loser I had. Uh, the the one thing when you lose a, uh, a, a game, sometimes it sets up a win the next time the team plays. Duke will be in a major bounce upward situation when it plays again. Miami will be in a major bounce downward position. Just keep uh, just keep that in mind. And you know, uh, I could uh, run down uh, day after day uh, of results and show you of all the nationally ranked teams that get knocked off. They're getting beat on the road. They're getting beat at home. Uh, it doesn't seem to matter. It's conference time and anything can happen. These teams all turn up the heat for one another in conference games and it uh, puts uh, uh, winning uh, at a uh, much more difficult, uh, uh, or as a much more difficult proposition. Let me tell you what I've done to adjust. You know, I had a couple of losing days uh, over the weekend bounced right back yesterday, and, and as I say, I lost only one game yesterday, and we'll go into that in just a minute. But I have gone, in the present time, I may end this soon, uh, uh, into what I call my power versus weakness mode. I've done this for one basic reason. You take teams like Creighton, Minnesota, even Duke, Indiana, Louisville, you know, there's a tremendous amount of pressure uh, that goes uh, that, it, that a team faces when it's battling to be uh, number one. And all these teams have, uh, have certainly uh, uh, played uh, their best basketball this season. But I think when you look at the top uh, nine or ten teams in the country, every single one of them is tired. Uh, they need to take a deep breath. You know, Duke has lost two of its last three. If I'm not mistaken, Creighton has lost its last two. But, you know, it's one of these things. These teams are still good. They're going to bounce back. They need to take a deep breath, and uh, uh, they'll take that, and they'll come right out firing again, and they'll, uh, they'll be okay. But for right now, I'm focusing on uh, basketball games that uh, involve good teams playing bad teams, and I mean very bad teams, uh, and it's working for me. Uh, last night, I did lose with Duke, I admit that. Uh, but also one with Butler, who was an underdog at uh, LaSalle. They got the cover there. And with Charlotte, one of the most underrated teams in the country. But uh, it was wonderful to win another 100-unit college blowout game uh, because uh, I released San Diego State at a minus five. The wise guys came in all over Nevada in this game. I predicted a 16 or 17 point, I beg your pardon, a 14 or 15 point winner. San Diego State won by 17, 70 to 53. It's always nice to uh, have the faith and confidence in your figures that you can say this team has a 90% chance to, uh, uh, to cover the number and then to get it done, especially when uh, the supposedly smartest basketball handicappers in the country are on the other side. And I'm not putting them down there sharp. They, they know what they're doing. But, you know, my, I believe in my figures. I never waver. Uh, never flinched a bit. Uh, on the San Diego State last night, even when the money showed on the other side. Now, the win with San Diego State left me with a 10-1-1 and one record uh, in, the, uh, uh, in my 100-unit college games this season, all released over the last seven weeks. The next one goes on, on uh, uh, Saturday. And, and I might just add here something that I think is very important. I have a very sophisticated way that I grade these teams number one, as to whether they will win, and number two, what is the, uh, uh, what percentage chance do they have to cover the number? I have released 12 of these games over the last seven weeks, the only 12 I've released this season, all at 100 units, and every single one of them graded out with a 90% chance, at least a 90% chance to cover the number. I'm 10, 1, and 1 in these games. And by the way, that's a 91% win percentage in 100 unit plays. And it reconfirms and gives me the confidence and hopefully you that when I say these, these teams that I'm releasing at this level have a 90% chance to cover the number they do, they're covering at a 91% chance right now. Now, <clears throat> you know, uh, to get back to the Super Bowl here for a minute, all the action seems to be coming in one way. Uh, and it's all in the Baltimore Ravens. Now, I'm watching this very carefully. I'll talk more about this in my uh, uh, in my Sunday uh, video. But 
you know, this is something that needs to be watched very carefully. Here's a game that opened, depending on where you bet, uh, the 49ers were either a minus four and a half point favorite or a minus five. The wise guys came in and grabbed all of the four and a half and all of the five that they could get. And then they uh, uh, drove the number down to minus four and stayed silent. Now, that number is now minus three and a half. And I'm trying to figure out whether there's any kind of manipulation going on here or if uh, uh, the one-way action on the Ravens is absolutely real. Stay tuned. I'm watching it for you and I will report back. Now, last but not least, uh, uh, tonight releasing my 50-unit Ohio Valley Conference Game of the Year, looking for a blowout win, going for my uh, uh, fourth straight 25-unit winner in the NBA, looking to get uh, the money in rather easy fashion, and going with two teams, uh, uh, two uh, power versus weakness teams for my best bet club clients. Last but not least, on Friday night, going for another 50-unit win with my NBA Game of the Week. Once again, intending to have a tremendous run here. Don't forget that special Super Bowl package I described at the opening here. Watch this website for it. Watch your mail for it. Get on board. The price is right. 1,000 units of winning action over five days beginning next Wednesday night. Thanks again for watching. Just remember, all services available on this website and toll free at 1-800-755-2255. All major credit cards accepted.